So last night, Marco and Hannah were crowned our Love Island USA 2023 winners. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. Our runners up were Cassie and Leo, who I felt like producers and editing pushed, pushed, pushed for. Um, Taylor and Bergie were next. And then pulling up the rear, we had Carmen and Kenzo. Now, I think we all kind of felt like Carmen and Kenzo would be in fourth. Now, as it, you know, it could have went a lot of different ways, I felt, because obviously we always knew that Marco and Hannah were going to be one of the top couples because they did everything the right way technically whether we felt like it was a whole lot of chemistry whatever they did the game the way you're supposed to do it they there was no cheating there was no this there was no that. it was honest it was what it was and last night i did get a it was some nice vibes i honestly thought on the dates um i felt as though um taylor and bergy and marco and hannah had winter dates so that's honestly so I felt like Bergie and Taylor were going to be the runners up because I felt like when they did the dates, I just was, it was like, I mean, they were all nice enough, but like just the lighting and the, just everything of the scene for Taylor and Bergie's date, along with Hannah and Marco's date, I felt was just like top tier. I actually felt like, I, I mean, I, I thought the helicopter ride was cute. You know, they do it every year. Um, I thought it was cute enough, but I was just like, they just put them in this little stranded strip of land with the sea looking like it's going to overtake them with some pillows in the middle. No, ma'am. But, um, and so at that point I was like, well, wait, maybe something different is going to happen. So when they did the naming and I heard my Bergie and Taylor, not, um, <laughs> you know, not the runners up. I was like, oh, Margaret and Hannah, you better win. And it's not even like a shirt because I like Leo. I really do like Leo. Um, as a partner, no, but he's young, he's young, he, oh my goodness, but I just, I'm not buying what he's selling, it just doesn't come across authentic, and honestly, to me, sometimes Cassie, she comes across very young, and I think young people sometimes are going to do what young people do, but everybody says that they're walking out with official partners, girlfriend and boyfriends, we shall see how this, like, can we make it to the reunion as partners? That's what I'm interested to see. <sighs> Carmen and Kenzo. Oh, my goodness. Kenzo seems to adore and love Carmen. He seems to hold her high on a pedestal. And, again, Carmen says the right things, but I, it just, I don't know. It doesn't come across as sincere. And so... I hope that Carmen does, because sometimes, you know, people's personalities can be different. Obviously, we've seen some things with Carmen that maybe, you know, we, we haven't loved, but, and given the benefit of the doubt, which always gets me in trouble. I talk about that all the time. Perhaps she does, and, you know, with them being in the same area, this could really work, but I do hope, for Kenzo's sake, that she does like him in the same way, because he really, really does seem to really, really enjoy her company, and, like, feel like she is the one. So I hope that is reciprocated. <laughs> We've got Taylor and Bergie. <clears throat> Y'all know Bergie was my little heart. Um, watching his journey. Because I told you for me when we talk about winners, I you know, I do like to see the journey. And so when I, I as much as I felt like Marco and Hannah were always gonna win it just because they did stuff the right way, a lot of times just America and just the world when we watch movies, when we, we like to see journey. Now, I don't like to see it because some people can be obsessed with struggle love. That's what Cassie and Leo, and somebody put it in my comments the other day. When I see Cassie and Leo, I did not want struggle love to be um, celebrated. And it's not that when I say struggle love, I don't mean that people, you know, please don't, don't misread what I'm saying. Of course, I know people deserve to be forgiven. I think people can overcome but first of all, not that quickly. Like, and, I mean, some people can, but like, no, I, I just, I, it's just an idea because they kept repeating how, you know, we had to go through this, you know, to get where, no, you did not. You did not have to go through that to get to, you didn't have to go through that to get to this point B. No, absolutely not. And I just think a lot of young people, I don't, it's so much struggle love in the air and what we watch or what's on TV. It's in books. It's, you know, because it is as fun as steamy to read and or look at. But, um, yeah, no, you don't have to go through that. And I'm not saying people, like I said, I'm not saying that people don't go through things. But I just don't want that to be the expectation because then it's just like, oh, well, 
you know, everybody's doing that. And it's just kind of what you have to go through to get to the bigger moment. No, no, man. No, 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 no. And I, when um, Leo was giving his speech and he was talking about, um, you know, I like, or was it on their date? Whichever. He said it last night. When he was talking about, you know, I like that you give second chances, that you're forgiving. And I was like, y'all better listen to people's words, okay? Words, what's coming out there? Don't look at the face. Don't look at the actions. Listen to people's words. I've said it for years on this show. I mean, I've gotten caught up myself at times. Um, I was going to bring up some names. I'm not going to bring up some names tonight. We're going to talk about that on another day. But listen to what people say. Now, y'all know we talk about timing being everything. Timing is definitely everything when it comes to these kind of shows. Because based on what you see in editing, based on what you see on a particular day, it can totally change how you feel. And we talked about this in my comments the other day. Bergy and Taylor, I, I really, you know, while I do think that Marco and Hannah, you know, always had one of the best chances to win, I also felt like it was Bergie's to lose as well. And while I respected their honesty, because I thought they had one of the most honest conversations um, in saying that, you know, I don't know, like, you know, what distance or I want, I want you to be all in. It was just like, why are y'all having this conversation today? It is like down to the last hour. You need votes. If people don't believe in you, we can't. So, you know, I, but I do, I, I appreciate the authenticity and honesty of that conversation and Grandpa Bergie, all of these things. I was like, why right now was the last week? No, it's not even like all week. It's like three days. Why are you doing this? But it was a very honest conversation. And again, timing is everything. If I feel as if the timing, if we would have heard like Bergie's journal, um, you know, just the tears with Taylor and then their speeches, they to me gave some of the just the best speeches overall. Like if I had to rank the speeches because it was I felt like it was very honest. It was very um I just, I just think, you know, it gave me good feels. And I feel like that could have at least gotten them to be the runner up. But, you know, in their honesty, they did what they did. And I felt like that kind of took Bergie back a step. But I'm hoping that, you know, that they find their way. And they both have never had a boyfriend or girlfriend. They, you know, so I think that they could grow together. And it's up to them to try to work it out. We'll see. Um, I don't know when Bergie gets home to his family, what that's going to look like. You know, and listening, I'm sure he'll look at it back and kind of go through. And hopefully the reunion kind of brings some clarity and, you know, they get some time to really be in the real world and see what that looks like. Because um, I wish them well. And I think and I think it could work. They both have like just something about them that's just a little quirky and a little whatever. And I love it. I like it. And I think it could work. Now, let me tell you, because I know, like, Marco has gotten a lot of flack. And, you know, I don't always see it with Marco because I don't have a problem with some of the stuff he does. Now, so what I will say, because this unseen bit, sometimes I watch him, sometimes I don't, you know, because, who is like a job watching Love Island, like, every, you know. But what I will say, in the unseen bits, I was disappointed in some of his behavior because I was like, eh, you know, I guess, but it's what some other people may always see. Um, but I felt like they showcase other people that they don't show during the week. Like I felt like really, like they really showed destiny in a good light. Um, who, but none of like, I, I felt like they showed a lot more of Hannah. Cause y'all know I've been consistently saying, I didn't know if Hannah wanted to be there anymore. Uh, cause she just seemed tired and just drained and like, whatever, let's just come on. But in unseen bits, I really felt like they really just showed her. They showed Taylor's personality. And I was like, well, why can't y'all show this before people vote it? Um, you know, because it definitely just gave a big feel. Timing is everything. But I say what I say because I know, like I said, I started off with Marco and not liking some things. But Marco, let me tell you where he had me because Bergie had me with the journal and the speeches. When Marco had that glory tear, if you know he had the glory tear coming down, that one tear. I was like, okay, Marco, you got me. You got me. You deserve this win, okay? You deserve this win. You had the one tear. You were really feeling this. You were really feeling this. I, uh, um, you know, I, I I have not felt the sparks of other seasons, I must say. But this season started off 
really dry and like to the point uh, a lot of people and I myself was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to watch this. Like because Love Island, like I said, because it is so many days, it's just it is very time consuming. And so you got to make it worth it for me to watch it. But I was like, okay, no, I'm going to stick it through because I like certain personalities. And I was like, okay. And, um, you know, and it got better. It did get better. We, we got to a different place and seeing everybody last night. And, you know, like, well, like I said, every season's different. And this one has its, its downs, but it has some ups. And so it, it left on a pretty good note. So I was really, um, I was satisfied with the way we ended. Um, but yeah, like I just, um, Marco and Hannah for the win. I was okay with that. Marco on his date. I just love it. Like he is so... I don't know, I feel like he's gotten progressively more Italian during the episodes, like as we've gone. And seeing him in his leather jacket and his leather, and like his whole, it just was giving a Bronx tale. It was giving good, like I, I love, I love that for Marco. And I, and Hannah and Marco, like I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes. Miss Wright, I'm interested to see if Miss Wright gonna still have a job, girl, cause she was in there shaking like he was having seizures under them covers. So you got to let me know how what age you're teaching because I want to know what school. I'm not hating. I'm not mad at you. But, okay, I just want to know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. What did you guys think about the finale? Were you excited? Are you ready for the reunion? Because I'm ready for the reunion. I'm ready to close up some ties, see what's going on. Um, and Love Island Games, are you guys going to be watching? It could be really exciting. I'm excited to see what that's going to look like, what's going to happen. You guys leave me in the comments because I talk back. Be looking for me real, real soon. Thank you, guys. It's been an awesome season. It's been an awesome season. It's been, been some ups and downs, but, like, we made it through, guys. So, leave me in the comments because I talk back. Be sure to like this video, and I'm going to chat with you guys real soon. And if you have not clicked that button to subscribe, make sure you're subscribed for some positivity breakdowns. We're going to do this. Talk to you soon.